On January 15th, Father Isaac Achi was shot in his rectory in Nigeria before the Muslim attackers set fire to the building. Another priest was shot, though in that case it was non-fatal, um, all in the same building. On January 19th, just four days later, at least 11 people, most of them Catholics, were killed when militants attacked a village near a refugee camp in Nigeria's Makurdi diocese. These are some of the latest attacks against the faithful in that part of the world. But for the past two years, the Biden administration, the State Department specifically, has refused to include Nigeria on the annual list of countries of particular concern. Now, the whole point of the list is, in part, you should have listings of countries that are rife with, with religious persecution, which it's unsafe uh, and, and in which there is no religious freedom. That would certainly apply. Yet, despite recommendations from various different groups that know anything about what's going on, despite recommendations by the Commission on International Religious Freedom, the Biden administration just refuses. In fact, it's so over the top that they refuse that even Newsweek is publishing articles wondering what's going on. And Newsweek is a far leftist outlet which usually isn't too kind to Christians. But more Christians are murdered for their faith in Nigeria than any other country in the world, and yet it doesn't make the list. It's almost like Christian persecution just simply doesn't count as far as the Biden administration is concerned. And by the way, Christians are the most persecuted religious group in the world. I know if you tune in to the news, or if you watch a lot of Hollywood movies, you would think that maybe it was Jews, maybe it was Muslims, but it's not. It's Christians, and it's not even close. Instead, there's a, there's a vested interest in preventing people from knowing that this actually happens, that Christians are persecuted, they are killed, they are martyred for their faith throughout the world. But that brings us back to the lesser, but still, you know, significant, religious persecution that's going on here in the United States. And despite all the different churches that have been burned of late, and those that have been, you know, um, defaced in various ways, uh, the Biden administration also hasn't willing, been willing to step in. If you recall, after Roe versus Wade was overturned, they were so aware of upcoming problems that they sent a, a notice out to various different churches telling them, hey, you know, you may be attacked soon, so you might want to do something about it. But they didn't actually provide any security or any aid. They didn't... nothing. And in fact, the Biden administration has been uh, rather unhelpful in dealing with those who have been attacking crisis pregnancy centers along with churches ever since then. There appears to be a an ethos of simply ignoring any sort of religious persecution because that's not their people, right? That's the way that they seem to see it. This isn't their people, and therefore they have uh, no willingness to step up and protect them, whether they're here or whether they're in Nigeria. But again, Christian persecution not just happens, but is actually constantly increasing. And I think it's also increasing here in the US, although we don't have, you know, priests being shot, killed, and burned just yet. But, you know, that's one of those give it time kind of things, because those on the, on the left, and I hate to put things in political terms when we're talking about religion, but it is the way that it is. Those on the left are becoming more virulent against those who are of the faithful, because those on the political left have values or anti-values that are, that are most opposed to those of the faith on topics like homosexuality and, and abortion, you know, especially the, the sexual sins. But you could even argue that modern leftism is essentially a, a sort of, I don't know, a, a belief in covetousness as a sort of ideology. I want what you have and therefore I have a right to it because I want it. You know, that, that's kind of the way that they think. But anyway, I think that we should do as much as possible to draw attention to, to what's going on and the fact that the Biden administration is looking the other way. It's a really bad sign for the future. Wait, don't leave yet. I have more videos for you to watch. One of them is recommended by YouTube because you know how well it has built a profile of you. Yeah, and the other one's my most recent video that you haven't already seen. So you can find something that you might enjoy. Also, there are links in the description below that'll help you to support the channel if you're so willing. And really, who doesn't want one of these mugs?